Shit, Becky. No man should feel this way. What's wrong, Jer? I feel like I'm getting prison raped. Oh, every time I sneeze, it makes me want to cough. Every time I cough, it makes me want to throw up again. Okay, you should, probably shouldn't be here. You should probably be home in bed. Oh, yeah, right. Jerry Coogan, home in bed during the Jerry Coogan slash Axl Rose birthday slash hot dog giveaway sales event? I don't think so. You know the hot dogs, dear. <gasps> oh, God. Get that shit out of my face. It's going to make me throw up again. You throw up? How the fuck do you think I feel? Running around with hot dogs in my damn hand in the hot sun all damn day. Del, you're sick too? Yeah. I'm sick. Wait a minute. You're a nucleus. You got me sick. You got me sick. Me? Get you sick? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always touching me on the shoulders and stuff. Those unnecessary high fives every 10 seconds. I'm a germaphobe, right? This is exactly why I don't touch people. No. I was like a young Jack LaLanne. We went to that bachelor party on Tuesday and I wake up this morning and I'm like a... Look at old Jack LaLanne. Whose bachelor party were you out on a Tuesday? I'm not 100% sure. I mean, we heard about a bachelor party, so we went, we got our drink on, then we got a little pussy parade going. And guess who was on the main float? Ah, ah, all right. ah, okay. ah. No, 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 don't touch me. I didn't get you sick, all you right? You sick, motherfucker. I did not get you, you got me sick. Can you just... Oh. Holy shit. Relax, relax. Stop oh. touching me. Look at this guy. Holy shit. I'm dying! <laughs> I've contacted my lawyers, and I ain't leaving you guys shit. You're sick too, Tony? Don't worry about it, Beck. I'm leaving you a bronze statuette of my penis. Can't even stand up, but you still find the energy to be a total douchebag. Is there any chance that on Tuesday you all made out with and or had sex with the same prostitute? Oh, it was the whore! The whore. Oh, hell no, oh, man. Oh, shit! Hey. I hate that whore walking around with the sniffles and the, and the cough and the sneezing all over the fucking place, giving lap dances all in your fucking face. I got so caught up in the horniness of everything and all. Yeah, I, that's what I'm talking about. No, motherfucker, no, don't touch me. No means no. I'm fucking sick right now. You can be a real mean bitch sometimes, Dell. Hey! Yeah! Coogan Auto kicks ass! Morning, boss. Jesus Christ, Randy, what the hell was that? I am so excited I might take his name in vain as well. <laughs> Not really. I, I got those air horns for the annual Jerry Coogan slash Axl Rose's birthday hot dog giveaway sales event. Ah! 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 Blast that horn again, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> Randy, did you go to that bachelor party too? No, ma'am. My mother says that a bachelor party is the first step down the road of destruction. We're all sick. Right? You got a lap dance, I had a lap dance, you had a lap dance with a tongue involved. I don't know, how the fuck did Randy get sick? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yesterday, when I started feeling a little sick, I felt like I should get a little nosh. So I went up to the snack room, and I found a container labeled Randy. So, I opened it up, and I licked the edge of the sandwich to see if I'd like it. But I didn't eat it. It was the most rancid pulled pork I've ever fucking tasted in my life. It was Tempe. No, 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 hey, hand the asses, get back here. I think I'm not feeling so well right now. This is a big day. This is a Jerry Coogan slash Axl Rose birthday slash hot dog giveaway sales event. Welcome to Coogan Auto. We got hot dogs and cars. Hot dogs, Axl. Oh God, oh God. Oh, fuck me. Oh, son, fucking shit too, I shit, I shit. Okay, baby steps, baby steps, cut. Uh, you stink. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right, Jer, you oh. should not be selling cars today. None of the guys should. Oh. Oh, I don't have a choice, Max. I gotta get on my feet. Even if it means doing the blow I was saving for this weekend. All right. Maybe there's another way. Oh, God, I really hope so. My dealer's on vacay in Guatemala. My weekend would be ruined. Make me your sales force. Oh, <laughs> fuck that. I mean, thank you for trying to cheer me up, but that's just fucking crazy. Come on, Jerry. I know this lot better than any of these guys. I know the cars, the prices, I file every sales report myself, and I have seen every sale happen since I've been here. All right. Ugh, if I didn't feel like a picture of Randy's ass, there's no way in hell I would trust a long-legged, small-hipped, high-cheekboned, 
Uh, dynamite breast. And no split ends. I mean, how the fuck do you do that? Okay, what? All right, okay. Here's what you gotta know. Those people out there, they're the scum of the earth. Our customers are pieces of shit. They're like little dog shits. Little dog turds that have been drying in the sun and turned white. And now the dogs come back to eat it and it actually crutches when the dog eats it. Listen to me. You've always got to upsell. Do you understand? Upsell! Yes. They tell you they don't want anything, give them more. If they try to leave the lot, stall. If they say they're not ready to buy today, you tell them the price is only good for one day, goddammit! Oh. Never, ever, ever tell the truth. Do you understand? I do. And Becky, if I'm dead, when you get back, I've always admired your ass. Okay. But hey, listen, like a cousin, I mean, not something creepy, okay? And also, try to revive me. Okay. Mouth to mouth at first, and then a chest massage. I knew that thing where you lifted my legs and pumped me back and forth. That doesn't help with Just, a heart attack. It does, I think. I mean, Jesus, you know, try to revive me at least. Mm -hmm. Also, make sure it's filmed. Can I help you? Hey, yeah, is there a sales guy around? Oh, I'm the sales guy. Well, you're too pretty to be a sales guy. Oh, thank you, that's so sweet. Um, what you looking for? Well, let me tell you, all right? I want value, so I'm thinking civic, all right? And I don't need to go through the rigmarole where you try and sell me something more expensive. I've done my research, all right? <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't do that, sir. As a matter of fact, I might recommend the Hyundai Elantra. It's a better value. It's a quieter ride, better on the turns, and it comes with a 60,000 mile five year warranty. Plus it's a few grand less than the Civic. Are you trying to sell me a car cheaper than what I want? I'm just trying to be honest. I love it. I'll take two. Let's go write this up. Hello boys, looks like you're on the mend. Oh, we're getting better, Becky. Is this hot tea? I'll cut Tony's throat open and drink it out of his neck. It's not gonna be necessary, all right? I made some for everyone. I even brought the little honey in the bear bottle. Oh, the bear oh bottle. yeah. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You didn't get that out of my sex bag, did you? I don't wanna know about that. How's it going out there? Mass chaos? No, opposite of mass chaos. It's great. Everyone's so nice and they're really eager to buy. I've sold 12 cars today. Well, 12 cars? You mean fake cars, right? Little toy cars? Not the real cars you need registration insurance for or you drive off the lot with gas in them, right? Yeah, is 12 a low number? Wow, that's amazing, Becky. That's more cars than any of these guys. Okay, have... hey, you know what? Fuck I feel you, like man. a million bucks. Really? I'm ready to get my house there and sell. Think you're better than us? Let's sell some cars! Yeah, I'm good. Praise the Lord, I'm healed. I love to smile on the camera. Set. Oh fuck, I shit. I shit too. I shit. Ah, fuck, I threw up my shit. I threw up my shit. I threw up my shit. Okay.